In this chapter, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to create a jQuery plugin. And there's quite a bit of convention when creating a plugin. You need to pay attention to the names of your files. Um, you need to upload your plugin to a Git to a repository using Git. Um, you need to include a manifest file, uh, a JSON manifest file. So that's what we're going to really focus on. The plugin itself is going to be very simple. It's basically going to be allow us to take an element and add a link to it through jQuery. All right, um, and it'll take a few parameters. It'll take the link. It'll take the the link text and the target if you want to open it in a new window or not. All right, so right now I'm at the jQuery plugin. Uh, registry and we're going to actually submit it to the registry all right um, there's thousands of plugins listed and just to give you an example I created one not too long ago called scroll slide all right so let's search for that and um, we have I have two versions here 010 and 020 okay so I'll click on this version and basically it's going to give us a download link to download the plugin it's going to give us the link on github um, we can view the home page you can add all these if you want you can add a demo uh, documentation all right so if we go to the github page this is a repository all right um, and basically you can see the naming conventions here the actual plugin file needs to be named jquery and then the name of your plugin .js and then we have a manifest file here with the name of the plugin .jquery .json. so these two files are uh, critical if you want to um, upload your plugin to the registry and then we just have some markdown here uh, with dependencies descriptions things like that so we need to do a few things here one we need to you need to create a github account all right and uh, we need to create a repository for this plugin two you need to install git all right so if you're using windows like me then you want to go to git scmcom and you can download um, a, a git program that'll give you a command line and it'll also give you a graphical interface we're going to use the command line and then lastly we need a markdown create well you don't need this but if you want your repository um, to have a nice description like this with headings and uh, code blocks then you want to get get a markdown editor and I use markdown pad which is great um, it gives you live view of uh, what you're doing so I would suggest downloading and installing this I already have it installed so I'm not going to uh, but I do need to download git All right, I don't have it on this virtual machine so we'll do that first all right so we'll download for windows and uh, while that's downloading you need to have a github account all right so I already created the account um, just sign up confirm your email and then what you want to do is create a new repository okay so we're gonna say create new up here new repository the repository name is gonna be jQuery dot link it and that's it. All right, and then the description, I'm just gonna say simple jQuery plugin that allows you to attach a link to any element. All right, now this is gonna be public. If you want a private repository, then you need a premium GitHub account. You can choose to initialize it with a readme markdown file, but I'm not going to do that. We'll create that on our own. All right, then we're just going to click create repository. Okay, so now it'll take you to a page like this, and it gives you the actual commands that you need to run uh, through the git command line. All right, so pretty easy. Now that we have that git program downloaded, let's go ahead and install that. And I'm sorry if I'm a little all over the place, it's just a few. Um, quite a bit has to be done here not it's not difficult but um, just try to follow along so I'm going to install this default location um, additional icons I'll check um, we want to Windows Explorer integration just keep that as it is 
next, next. Now here, I want to choose to use Git and optional Unix tools from the Windows command prompt. All right, so this will let us use certain Linux or Unix commands. So I'm going to click Next, leave this as is. Okay, and now it's going to install. I close out of here and here and here. Okay, so we have an empty repository. All right, so now we have that installed. What I want to do now is create our project file on our desktop. And this is going to be called jQuery.linkit. All right, and I do have a capital I here. I'm, do, I'm using camel case. And we can create our initial structure. Um, first thing, I'm going to create a readme markdown file. So I want this to be readme.md. And we can open this up with markdown pad. Okay, so basically, um, markdown is basically, a, it's kind of like a mini language. Um, if you want headings, you can use the pound or the, the number sign. All right, so we're going to say link it jQuery plugin. And the number sign, these, these act like H tags. Okay, so one of them is like an H1, two of them is like an H2, three. You can see it's getting smaller over here. Okay, so we're going to keep it at one because it's the main title. And then we'll do a description. So we'll say link it is a simple jQuery plugin to attach links to elements. And if you want to use bold text, you can use the double asterisk. Okay, you can see in the live preview here that's now bold. Um, you probably want to put the version, so I'm going to use an H2 tag. Okay, version will be 0.1.0. And then you probably want to have a usage area. And we're not going to do this yet. We'll fill that in after. If you want to use code blocks, um, for instance, let's say we had a script tag and you want it to be a code block, you can see that it disappeared down here because they were just trying to put it in regular text. Um, but we're going to do four spaces. Okay, now you can see that it's a code block. So four spaces will put whatever it is into a code block. All right, so we can also put vendors. Okay, so you want to put like th third party um, programs here. All we're using is jQuery, so uh, we'll say jQuery. And then to format a link, you want to use um, parentheses, uh, yeah, parentheses, and that's going to be the link text. All right, and then next to it, actually, hold on, brackets should be first, which is the link text. And then this in the parentheses is the actual link. Um, and you probably want to include a license. Okay, we'll just say MIT license. Probably want to put a link to it as well, but this is fine for now. All right, so let's save that and create the rest of our files. Okay, so like I said, there's a strict naming convention. Um, the main plugin file is going to be called jQuery dot and then the name of the plugin link it dot JS and then you also need a manifest file which needs to be called the name of your plugin dot jQuery dot JSON all right so that's basically it um, for the actual plugin folder. All right, now 
we need to create a, a project folder for us for our HTML file and things like that. Um, so I'm just going to call this link it. And then I want to move I want to move the plugin folder in that folder. All right, so this is actually the folder that we need to initialize git and um, push it to our repository. Okay, so we want to go, we want to git bash into this folder. Okay, that's going to open up a command line. If you don't see that option here, git bash, um, just open it up and you want to just go to this directory here. Okay, it's the plugin directory. And what we're going to do is initialize git. So we're going to say git. Actually, before we do that, we need to configure um, our email and our name. Okay, so we want to say git config global user dot email and then in quotes you want to put your email okay we'll do the same thing with the name change this to name Alright, so now we can initialize git init. Okay, so if we open that up, actually you won't see it yet. Um, and if we go to the, the repository page, you can see we don't need to do this, we already created that. So we did git init. Now you want to add your stuff, and you can do git add and then the name of the file or folder, but we want to add everything. Okay, we want to add everything, so we want to say git add and then a period. All right, so that didn't add it to the remote repository; that added it to to the um, the local one. The next thing we want to do is commit it. So git commit. I'm going to use a and m and then the comment for our commit. Now the a tag, I'm sorry, the m tag is going to make it so that we don't have to go to another screen to put our comment in. We can do it right here. Um, the A tag is making it so that if we delete something on our local repository, it's going to delete on the remote one as well. All right, because the default is to just keep it all on the on the remote. All right, so we want it to delete. So we're going to do that. Okay, so it's still not in our repository. To do that, we need to grab this here and add our remote repository. So I'm going to copy this and paste that in here. All right, and then we just need to do this. Okay, we want to push it to our remote repository. And it's going to ask us for our username and password. All right, so branch master has been set up. Okay, I'm not going to go through branches and um, how to use Git because that's a whole nother series itself. Um, but now, if we go and reload our repository, you can see that everything's here. We have our README file, we have our um, plugin files, and also our Markdown. Okay, so that's all. Looks really good. All right, so the last thing I want to do in this video is just create our project file structure. Okay, so we're not going to do um, any hardcore HTML and styling. I just want to show you just the bare minimum that we need to use the plugin. So we're going to create index.html, and that's actually it. I'm not going to create a CSS folder or anything like that. Um, Let's go ahead and open this up. And I'm just going to do a very basic structure. Okay, we'll 
put a title. And this will just be plugin example. All right, and then all I'm going to do in the body is have an H1. And we'll say link it demo. And then a paragraph. jQuery link it plugin demo um, and we'll say let's make this text into a link okay and I'm just gonna wrap this text into in a span tag all right so that's actually all I'm gonna do for the HTML Okay, so we just want to change this text into a link. All right, so everything's set up. Uh, in the next video, we'll, we'll work on the actual functionality, um, and then we'll add a manifest file, and then finally, we'll actually publish this plugin um, in the jQuery plugin registry.